Moving on and seeing who else what go on, let's look at Kif. No, not Kif. Um, Ami Leondor, actually. I always say Kif because I think they share a lot of sensibilities, right? There's a lot of fucking aesthetics that AOD and Kif share, unfortunately. I guess because they service essentially the, the same customer. AOD maybe started off serving that guy that's like, you know, 25 plus who's maybe got their first decent job but still wants to look kind of cool and i guess kiff is slowly but surely trying to age their customer upwards right they maybe started off doing the whole tracksuit stuff but now they're doing a lot of like cut and sew a lot of what you deem to be ready wear whatever it may be going forward so that's maybe why i confuse them anyway that being said enough about me fucking um trying to cop my please they recently dropped their winter 2023 uniform the text here emily and door presents the winter uni uniform for 2023 featuring hero items such as a double breasted teddy coat full tuxedo set leather down program and a mitchell nest jersey that's actually a really good um blurb to describe where they're at as a brand in it that their hero items are a double breasted teddy coat a full tuxedo set a leather down program and a mitchell nest jersey the only thing streetwear about this is probably this mitchell nest shit everything else is very menswear adjacent so it definitely sees that they're basically trying to point in that direction more than anything else um yeah, so I really like what they've got going on here so far with these first two looks. Also, another note is I'm a big fan of this model. Um, obviously, I, I like the the other models that you usually have with the, the two black twins. They look incredibly cool, but I also like when they use this white guy. He definitely does a good job in terms of presenting these clothes very well. Um, this jacket here, this overcoat is absolutely incredible. Um, what is he wearing here? This is a teddy top coat. Fucking hell. It's made out of double, what is it? Teddy wasn't made out of it doesn't say actually there's also a double breasted suit underneath there a wall envoy hat which is incredible right Russian envoy Soviet Union thing and then some slippers right I'm assuming oh it's not sort of slippers what are these loafers he's also got a Venetian loafer on so those look really cool um on the other side you've got this really nice is that a leather bub is that a leather down jacket that looks incredible David's wearing a leather down puffer uh, in black with a mohair beanie and Venetian loafer and tuxedo, tuxedo trousers. This looks fucking incredible. I love the look of this, to be fair. One of my favorites on there. You've also got this plush, amazing um, hoodie. What's this is made out of as well? What is this? This is made out of a full zip hoodie with Merlot and also a flyer pant and a fleece beanie. Not really a fan of the pants. No, actually, that's not one of my favorite looks. I'm not really a fan of that. This is one of my favorites here. This is definitely something I would obviously wear here with this incredible little bucket hat. Again, I wish bucket hats would look this cool on me. They just don't. It's one of those things that I've never really tried to buy. It's like a camp cat, like Supreme Camp Cat. So I wish I could get my fucking massive 758 head to fit in the Supreme Camp Cat because I've been wearing them every single day, but my head just doesn't fit in them. So it's annoying. And I wish my head would look good in bucket hats also. I remember the time when schoolboy q was popping up and he was wearing them every day i tried to do the bucket hat thing and it just didn't work the same way it worked on schoolboy q unfortunately um it, this guy looks like yeah so it's a it's an alpaca fleece pullover which also i guess is the alpaca oh no it's a wool beanie um bucket hat was on camel and a pleated pant fucking incredible i love those and also the boots i guess it might be a collab who knows on that one um there's obviously you showed you that one and then there's a, this other this the suiting is really good to be fair i'm not gonna lie the suit options are great um you might be a little bit of an idiot to spend the money that ald are gonna be paying or price you know um charging for a suit you might want to go to an actual suit manufacturer or maybe Savile row to get one done for you properly but you know if you maybe want to get that one-stop shop where you can buy everything um or you can kind of deck out your high entire wardrobe via them then it's not a bad option because the cuts are really nice man that looks like a really well well put together suit i'm not mad at that in the slightest um there's also got this really great cardigan i love this design on this cardigan that looks incredibly nice with them um, the shirt and the vest um on underneath and the chain again the styling is awesome on ald whoever does the styling there does a really good job um again there's a the leather down puffer oh look at that is that double-breasted cardigan vesting what the fuck is that that is brilliant there David is wearing a leather down and a mohair beanie and a double-breasted mohair cardigan. Yeah, I'm all over that. That is fucking gorgeous. And look at the buttons. Some big, nice, round, pearly buttons there. No pulls needed. And I love those trousers too and the wallabies. you got this great leather jacket here, a leather track jacket. A track jacket made in leather. Such a good little spin in it. you got the nice Wrangland sleeves there. The leather looks fucking plush yeah really nice not mad at that in the slightest oh look at those leather jogging leather track pants oof 
I'm not. F- it's it's giving. It's definitely Russian inspired, isn't it? There's the, 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 there's a lot of like old Soviet Union shit going on here. This kind of feels like something. Some characters in um, what's that series called? I think the Americans would wear. Definitely something of, of along that kind of line. David is wearing a tuxedo jacket and leather track pant and a leather driver's hat. Um, there's this um, look as well with the baseball jersey. I'm not a fan of that in the slightest. That looks horrendous. Not really for me. But yeah, the rest of it obviously is available down below as you can see the individual pieces. But some definitely some strong looks here. I think the one here with the double-breasted um, cardigan vesting is fucking one of my favorites. As is this grey suit option and this one with the cardigan and that hat. What's that hat called actually? That hat is cool. This I could actually look good in. This this kind of Peaky Blinder shit going on there. I think I could actually pull that off. It's a Peaky Blinder hat, but it's actually got two flaps, two ear flaps to cover your ears. So it kind of looks good, I guess, covered over your ears, but it's also got this decent element. You can clip it on top and kind of give it a little bit of a styling little twist on that regard. What do they call this hat? They call it the herringbone ear flap hat. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I could definitely do make that work. And then, of course, this... Um, half zip pullover thing this quarter whatever this looks really cool as well so what is it it's a alpaca fleece pullover and again the the bucket hat looks great and then of course these two looks here at the top are really awesome so big up aod for always putting out cool interesting shit again love what they do um the price range is a bit crazy for me it's kind of vis for me price but again i can't complain i really can't with the level of quality that they put out